guys, welcome to the episode here where I'm going to demo uh, playing uh, MAME ROMs on an iPad using the uh, iCade cabinet. Um, this is a, actually a non-jailbroken iPad. I will be using um, iMame, which was an app that was released to the App Store. Um, it was later pulled once they found the little Easter egg in it that you could actually uh, load ROMs and emulate uh, MAME ROMs. Um, if you keep watching, I'm sure you'll find um, an app. The last one that just got released was Gridly. Uh, that one got pulled, but it did the exact same thing. Uh, they sneak by the reviewers and then they get them in the App Store. Uh, that, that way you don't have to jailbreak your device to actually do this. Um, if you did want to do this right away, since you, there really are no apps in the App Store right now that will um, do this for, for a non-jailbroken iPad, you can jailbreak and install iMame, and you can do this right now. So there's your options. Um, if you're lucky enough that too, you've gotten Gridly or you got iMame and you have it on your iPad, um, you probably already know how to do this anyway. But if not, I'm gonna demo it. Um, so what you need is an application called iExplorer, and uh, you can get it on Windows, and you can get it on. Uh, your Mac and this is a, actually a MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm going to bring up the website here. And Macro Plant iExplorer. Um, this is a uh, utility that you can use for your iPhone, iPad, iPod to transfer files, look at the file structure of your device. Um, sure beats iTunes. Um, I'm using the demo version. You can pretty much do everything in the demo version. I do say if you're going to get this and you're going to use it a lot, support them. Give them some money, register your, your uh, application, and uh, support the authors. Uh, I don't use this a whole lot, um, and so I'm going to be in demo mode here, um, showing you how to do this. So I've launched the application, so let's go ahead and bring it up. And as you can see here, uh, let me go back to iExplorer and home. So when you first launch it, you're going to actually see your device. What I've done is I've connected my iPad, and this is an iPad 2 actually, to my MacBook with the standard cable. And uh, it sees it, lists it up here, um, and then uh, gives you some options here of doing media, data, files. Um, you, know, you can click around here and see what you want to do. If you go to data, you can see messages, contacts, voicemail. You can see all sorts of stuff in here. But what we really want is the files because we need to drill down into the app structure to place our ROMs um, and I won't condone going out and downloading ROMs uh, again if you have some legitimate ones uh, you know if you own the arcade machine itself or um, you know like I own several Namco museum games and stuff like that for me I've paid for it I feel like I own the ROMs because I have these games and that's really what they are are the ROMs but uh, so let's go back to the screen here and you're gonna want to choose apps and what you're going to do is you will be presented the entire listing of applications. Well, you can see I have Gridly. I mentioned that earlier. This does the exact same thing, but I'm actually going to scroll down and use iMame. This is one that was released to the App Store and pulled, as was Gridly. So I'm going to head and click this to expand it out. And now you can see the folders um, under the application. So all you have to do is you have the ROMs is drop them into the documents folder uh, here and that is where this application looks for ROMs when it loads on your iPad and currently you can see like Frogger, Galaga, Hardhat which I think Hardhat came with it uh, I've since added these here so what we're gonna do now I've got these ROMs loaded on the uh, iPad itself and you can just drag and drop them into here and they'll, they'll transfer across you don't need iTunes or anything like that uh, I'm gonna go to actually some gameplay footage um, on the iCade so you can see how this works and again you just drop them in here and uh, you're set that's pretty easy to load the game onto your iPad so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this video and we will move on to the actual uh, play footage through the iCade cabinet um, and you can see how this works I really like the iCade cabinet for this it's almost like a little MAME uh, box or arcade cabinet like a miniature version and uh, it really, really makes it a better gameplay experience than just using the screen on the iPad. So, here we go. Okay, now we're ready to do some gameplay footage on the iCade cabinet with the iPad. 
if I could learn to talk. Um, this is the Ion uh, iCade. It's a Bluetooth cabinet. Um, as you can see here, it has a uh, 80 style arcade controller, some 80 style buttons, and it is paired with the Bluetooth. I know it's on because my 25 cent deposit quarter slot down here is actually illuminated telling me that it is actually on and uh, we have actually paired it with the iPad. If I go ahead and click in here in the settings if I go into Bluetooth I can see that the Ion iCade game controller is actually connected and so I know that it is ready to go with the iPad. So now we're going to go in and launch iMame And find the games and I maim. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid down. And by the way, this is some nice instructions at the top here. So uh, if you ever forget, the instructions are built in, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here on the screen just a little bit. Um, we need to go into options and we can find control layout it is set for arcade so we're golden there so let's go okay and we're going to select the game and we're going to go arcade is the controller and let's go enter again and we're good that and now it is launching the game itself kind of like a old arcade cabinet would. It's doing its memory checks, its ROM checks, video checks, all that kind of stuff. So it actually is truly emulating an old arcade machine. And now you can see we have Galaga, the original version that was run on the arcade cabinets themselves. So that's why it's saying insert coin. And uh, so that's kind of nice. I don't have the volume up real high, but hopefully you can hear it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, let's insert a quarter. There we go. Couldn't remember the right sequence to enter the coins. So now we've entered the coin and we can go ahead and start the game. And I can turn the volume up. And here we go, original game paper. I used to own this game in the 80s in the arcades. And that is iMain in the iCade cabinet. So it is definitely kind of like a little miniature feeling of a main cabinet. And uh I got this clearance for $50. It was a steal of a deal. I think they've actually reduced the price down to $50. If you can find these, they're well worth it. Um, some other options you can do um, is you can actually... Let me go ahead and get out of iMame. For games that are kind of side-scrollers, what we can do is actually place the iPad like that. You know, you have the side scrollers that would work just fine like uh, that on the iPad. It's not the best setup, but it works. Um, and it's still pretty sturdy. But uh, for the most part, you know, most of the arcade games you're going to have it just up in like this. And this nice little holder and stand it's got in here. And again, this is all Bluetooth, so no wires, no cables. And uh, the nice thing is, if you don't do anything with this, it'll power itself off. Um, so, there it is. This is the Ion iCade cabinet, and we just played a game of Galaga. And I showed you earlier how you can drop ROMs onto your iPad, and uh, you know it'll give you all the options you want. The games, it'll see it there, and you launch it, bang, you're in, and play just like you did in the 80s or 90s, whichever decade you were a child of. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll leave some more information in the show notes. As always, if you um, enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and a like. And uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep producing more and more videos like this um, with gadgets and stuff, and especially kind of iOS-related, iPad-related. Um, 
So good stuff. Anyway, thanks again.